hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tima aka bbbw tima joyce but you already knew that didn't you i know guys i know i haven't uploaded anything in a while i thought i would be more consistent but i clearly lied to myself and right now with this lockdown part two thing everything is just moving stupidly mad i'm not even joking i'm not so guys today we're gonna talk about the things to do and the things not to do let's start with what not to do you shouldn't you shouldn't sleep with a plus size girl the same way you sleep with a skinny girl let me rephrase that you shouldn't have sex with a plus size girl the way you have sex with a skinny girl because it doesn't work the same way it's like you try the, the way you pick up a 1 kg bag of rice is not the same way you pick up a 20 kg bag of rice do you see where i'm going with this okay because you guys and girls have been moving mad and by mad i've been mad for years for years i'm gonna talk about guys specifically because i'm straight for now <laughs> so <laughs> what not to do when you're fucking a plus size girl okay you shouldn't lift her up the way you would lift up a skinny girl it won't work what are you trying to do i'm not gonna lie i was dating this bloke yeah and um, um things got awkward real quick if you get what i mean you could just tell he had no experience whatsoever with a big girl and i don't know about other big girls but i can tell straight if a guy have no and my rule was i would not date a guy that never been with a plus size girl because i don't want to be his first experiment or whatever like yeah i i don't want that i don't i don't want that distress okay i'm just trying to get down to business okay and you trying to no let's not do that okay so moving on so i was dating this dude and the First time he was trying to, you know, we were talking for a while, dating for a while, and we were trying to get down to business. If I tell you what this stupid idiot trying to do, like, <laughs> first we were standing up, kissing, you know, whatever, trying to take it to bed, and then he tried to carry me. No, 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 no. I don't think you guys understand. He legit try to carry me and you know if you try to carry anything heavy okay you need to bend your knees <laughs> how do i know that? everybody should know that that's, that's like common sense okay my g just decided to you know pick me up as if i'm a i don't know he just even if he lifts in weight at the gym are you not supposed to you know you know lift away but do you know what i mean he just tried to pick me up and i was stiff as well. i was like what what are we doing what's going on i am lost are you right what should i do he's like don't worry relax i got this no you don't got it you you do not got it if you got it you wouldn't try to drop me like a fat pancake on the floor who does that who does that? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was turned all the way off and he ended there. We didn't move on to nothing. No stage two, no stage three, no stage one. It, it could not go anywhere. Because you're dumb, man. Like, this is... <laughs> this is a hazard. What? what? You, are, you, you are lost. No, fuck no. Never again. That's me and you would not happen. And he was like, ah, oh, Timo, are you always dramatic dramatic Tima you are dramatic how am I dramatic if you drop me and I broke my back literally then what will happen then what will happen then I will ugh, you know what this video is not about that story time so let's just so tip one do not try to pick up a big girl the way you pick up a small girl 
it's not the same thing it's not the same thing okay tip number two hmm i don't think this tip is going to be only for big girls it's going to be for girls in general if you're gonna um, have sex intercourse coitus with anybody right you need to make sure both party are enjoying it but guys Hmm. Y'all are kind of selfish. Some of y'all. Some of y'all. Some of y'all. Okay? Okay. Some of y'all are kind of selfish because I got girlfriends and we all talk about the same thing. And that is crazy to me because in 2020, if you believe that sex is only about you, you're kind of dumb. Okay? You, you ain't going to get much pussy at all. That, I'm just being straightforward. But what i would say is always make sure your partner is satisfied because we know by now everybody should know by now that not every girl come or have an orgasm or you know go to the stars with penetration only if you think your dingling is doing wonders not really bro not really not at all okay so make sure you you know play with her and by play with her i mean play with her like and that's when the big girl part comes to play because yeah the way you're gonna play with a skinny girl's vagina is not the same way you're gonna play with a big girl vagina because a big girl have a lot of meat down there if she don't have big ass thighs she has a big ass belly okay she got a full paw so how are you gonna maneuver around it is the question okay i don't even, I don't even have examples because this this was random i'm just expressing myself okay so it's it's like a slim girl you open her legs you can see it straight it's right there everything is perfectly clear a big girl you got a big ass thighs on the way okay so you need to be confident enough and uh, comfortable enough to open it and get to digging comfortably <laughs> you gotta dig for the gold okay dig for this big girl's gold if you really want it if you really want it if you don't want it like let me just on a side note if you're not attracted to a big girl obviously this video ain't for you if you never fucked or never is planning to fuck a big girl this video ain't for you but if you are about big girls bra listen because you're gonna gain I'm going to tell you what, what the big girl you're dating ain't going to tell you. So right now, I am your best friend. You get me. Okay. So boom now. She got big ass thighs. Make sure you open her legs wide. Wide enough that she's comfortable. Because she's big. Most big girls are... The flexibility level is like with slim girls. Not everybody is... Not every skinny girl is extra flexible. Not every big girl is extra flexible. Make sure you know how flexible your big girl is. Okay. Okay. So then you make sure you open her legs wide. Make sure she's comfortable. And look for it properly. Look for the clitoris. And do your thing. Okay. Your thing can be with your mouth or with your hands just make sure you make her come before you shove your willy inside her because your willy might not make her come make sure she's enjoying it the same way you're gonna be enjoying it okay that's happened with you know that's happening during the foreplay i would expect right because it's like porn right the kissing the foreplay then down to business is that how is that not how sex go but yeah so that's another tip. Make sure she comes before you shove your thing and make sure you're comfortable with her. Because if you're comfortable, she automatically will be comfortable. Not automatically, but it makes it easier. Because if you're awkward or you don't know what you're doing, trust me, she knows. Because she's already conscious about her body. I'm not saying every big girl is conscious about her body. I'm saying not everybody is extra comfortable with every part of their body. 
slim, fat, short, tall, everybody. I mean, most female, most female. So, yeah, make sure you open her right and you please, you pleasure her right. Okay, guys? All right. And when it comes to positions, okay, position, when having sex with a big girl, because I feel like I'm using the F word a bit too much, you have to... Hmm, how can I put it? You have to... <laughs> I put this video here, oh my god. Okay. When having sex with a big girl, you have to... Hmm, I don't know. If you guys have a conversation... It depends on how long you guys have been talking, in it as well? Because like, if you guys have a conversation, you already know what sex position she enjoys. You told her what sex position you enjoy. And... Hmm... So if you guys are into the, you know, doggy, missionary, or papa and mama, whatever, scissors, side doggy, I don't know, you, you guys do you. But what you should not do, okay, what you should not do is carry a big ass girl and decide that you want to do, you know, gym with her. Cause it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It ain't gonna work, bruh. You're gonna die. You're not gonna die, but it's not gonna. It's embarrassing. Now. Ah, ah, respect yourself. Size your babe. Like, I believe everybody should size their girlfriend. Like, you know what to do and what not to do with your girlfriend. Games to play with, games not to play with your girlfriend. You know, it's the same thing. Like, size your girl. See how you can flip and. Turn her like a big girl is not complicated, and every big girl obviously know how to do their business. I hope, I hope girls, girls don't disappoint me out there. Don't disappoint me out there. But that's by the way. But every girl would be comfortable enough to turn herself. Or if you're not strong enough, but if you're not strong enough, why is you fucking a big girl? Hmm. That's. A question for another day okay because not everybody can sleep with a big girl not everybody can have sex with a big girl not everybody can do that not everybody have that power okay so stick to what you are able to handle okay and the Lord would never put more on you than you can bear kind of sort of <laughs> but that's my way moving on a big girl will always twist and turn to make sure everybody is good you get me you get me you get me you get me we don't want no if you're gonna have sex make sure it's not a day that you're tired that's from both sides make sure that you know everybody is attracted to the other person again you could i don't know how guys do that guys some guys can just smash everything like to be honest i'm a true believer of everybody has a type and if you don't have a type i'm looking at you sus you get me you just you just go sort of everything and everything are we it's all we're doing because everybody knows my type by now okay and my type know me okay i forgot what i was saying always make sure you're attracted to the person that you're trying to smash okay Always make sure you're attracted to the person you try to smash. Don't smash people just for the sake of smashing people. Okay? So to the big girls, like, because most big girls feel uh, some type of way about riding the D. Okay? And I'm a strong believer of if he loves everything you are carrying, my dear, he will love it on top of him too. Like, because. How can I be very straightforward without being vulgar? That's the difficulty I'm having at the moment, okay? So let me just try to say it like this. Some guys love the meat. <laughs> the meat, the fat, the, the bigness of it all. They love 
all of it so they want to grab it they want to play with it they want to rub it they want to i'm not talking about the feeders big girls be very careful about feeders because they are here to kill your ass uh, i'm just talking about bbw lovers big girl lovers guys that just appreciate a big girl and whatever and watch now so make sure you comfortable because those guys always make you feel comfortable anyway so if you are with somebody that loves and appreciates your body and um even love whatever you're insecure about the best type of people to ride because they get excited they want you on top of them type of situation so just <laughs> so just take that fat ass and those fat guys find a comfortable place where you can lift up one leg drop one leg on the floor like on the bed or on the sofa find a chair that you can you know sit comfortably on top of him type of situation make sure you're comfortable so you can last a bit longer and ride the shit out of your man comfortably okay and if your man is into that if he likes it well if you like it and he loves it girl we i also want to talk about the type of guys that are attracted to big girls because girls <laughs> not every guy that say oh i like big girls is here for your good though he, he definitely like big girls I, he definitely like big girls okay but there is different type of guys that are attracted to big girls and the ones that you should be careful about like i was saying earlier are the feeders because the feeders like come into your life make you feel like a queen um get you everything you want especially food he's out here to just feed you and he gets excited and turned on by how big you get the bigger you get for him the better it's gonna get you as big as taking you to the hospital bed my g like you're gonna die you're gonna die because this nigga tells you you're his queen he loves you he loves how big you are no matter how fat you get he will always get a hard on for you the, the, sis the hard on that you ain't gonna enjoy because you won't be able to move because if you big that you need a specific type of bed or a specific type of I don't know what <laughs> get out of there okay get out of there and there's also there's also yeah the BBW lovers the guys that just genuinely just are attracted to big girls just want a big girl uh, enjoy being around a big girl enjoy your body how soft or however it is you know you have those ones um, you have the ones that are trying to use you always be aware of uh, guys that because let's be realistic most big girls have very low self-esteem so it's easier for them to jump into um, abusive relationship and it's just dickheads really to jump in a relationship with a fucking dickhead and by the end of it you all double the size that you were you know doing the flipping doing a madness like definitely fam i believe i'm a strong believer that a fuck boy will always show his true colors like you may try to ignore it but he always shows it and if he shows it run don't take don't take that rubbish like they'll make you feel like you're lucky to be with them they're not they're narcissistic as fuck they always make you feel like oh yeah without me you ain't gonna be nothing me are you dumb <laughs> something where am i talking as if i've been with a narcissistic person have i been with a narcissistic person usually people tend to think i'm narcissistic i don't think i am but yeah so they always you know believe they're the shit it's okay to believe that you're the shit i believe i'm the shit you get me but you shouldn't make the other person feel crappy about themselves so big girls are here i'm telling you guys if it's a prick leave him alone okay if it's too much is you shouldn't take shit period look at me saying that as if you shouldn't um let nobody treat you but that's that's not right you shouldn't you shouldn't allow it 
you shouldn't allow it that's the word you know what you're allowing your space and you shouldn't allow fuck boys in your space the, the guys that will go out all night sleep with uh, Eva Eve and Martha and come back the next day in the house that you live in trying to tell you how to run your house how you need to take up I, I hear mad stories out here guys I hear mad stories out here big girls do not settle for that God will always send you your own everybody that is trash please leave him in the trash you cannot do recycling with those people because they don't believe in recycling okay okay and you also have the guys that just love you as a person those are always the best ones they just they just love you they just love you so much and they love everything about you okay those are always the best because if you lose weight they're still gonna be there if you decide oh no i can't do with this fat life no more they're still gonna be there if you go bigger they're still gonna be there because they love you unconditionally they love you no matter what that's the type of love i pray for you guys and i pray for me guys you are a queen no matter what size you are okay so i say all of this to say guys if you're gonna deal with a big girl if you're gonna try to sleep with a big girl if you try to pleasure a big girl if you try to fuck a big girl if you're trying to have sex with a big girl if you're trying to make love to a big girl make sure you know what you're doing make sure you take your time make sure she's comfortable make sure everything runs smoothly okay make sure you take care of my big sisters okay make sure you know what you're doing if you don't please exit 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 go around the corner open the door you find a gorgeous slim girl right there that will do everything that you know how to do and you can do whatever you know how to do with her big girls is not for everybody i would not i, pre I personally would not like to deal with somebody that haven't dealt with a big girl before okay you get me this you can just feel the difference you can just feel it so guys i think i covered most of it and if you agree with me please let me know in the comment section if i forgot something please let me know in the comment section if you want me to go more in details about it please let me know in the comment section because make sure you like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment section below what you think about it your experiences what happened and what did not happen and how it happened why it did not happen okay and um yeah let's get the conversation going if you want me to do another video about how to handle a big girl or how a big girl should handle a d please let me know okay love you guys Mm. and mm. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it but